a look at some of our flags this morning at the National World War One Museum and Memorial. Today is Flag Day. Every June 14th, we commemorate the adoption of the U.S. flag on June 14th, 1777. The U.S. Department of Veterans Affairs says in, in a year, about 12 million adults in the U.S. have post-traumatic stress disorder, or PTSD, and June is PTSD Awareness Month. Now, distancing, detaching from loved ones, that can be a common symptom sure. of PTSD. And for any veteran, really, something as simple as a phone call or just being there can go a long way toward helping them feel supported and truly could be life-saving. During this month, Casey-based Team Fidelis is challenging you to think about our service members, our veterans, and reach out to commit to connect. This is more than a day at the lake. It's not every day that I've run into someone who has served. It's, it's like family. It is. We're human beings and we, you know, we have emotions, good or bad. We want to be connected and we need each other. Uh, this stuff. It's why Daniel Brazell helped start Team Fidelis to connect veterans, service members, and their families through camaraderie and support. When we leave combat, we, you know, we, you know, we leave, we, we're home, but part of us is never home. Ten years in the Marine Corps, and then I was medically discharged for PTSD. Their ultimate mission to save lives and prevent suicide. The latest report shows in 2019, we lost 17 veterans a day to suicide. When I got out, I struggled uh, a lot uh, with, you know, with my PTSD, a lot of suicidal ideation, ended up in the hospital multiple times, you know, and like honestly had a plan to take my own life at one point. On the day that I was supposed, I was going to, uh, my wife didn't go to her parents' house. She stayed for whatever reason, obviously God had a reason. She stayed and we went to lunch. Um, and when I was supposed to do it, I didn't. And we got home and there was 10 Overland Park cops at my house because my doctor had called. He now calls that day a turning point. I know I'm not the only one struggling. Uh, so how do I help my brothers and sisters? Because that really sucks. In the more than five years since Team Fidelis started, he says they've grown a network of thousands. And this month, they invite you to just make at least one connection. Commit to connect to one service member, one veteran. Just reach out to them. Just say, hey, I was thinking about you. You're on my heart, whatever. I hadn't talked to you in a long time. How are you doing? What's going on? And just have a conversation. Whether veteran or not, um, you don't know what anyone's going through. And so if you can just reach out. Um, it may be something that changes that person's day. Truly, multiple stories of one phone call the day you I didn't was know. Going to. You don't know what that could mean for somebody, yeah, right? Absolutely. Uh, so we have a link to Team Fidelis at KSHB.com. We also reached out to some of the mental health professionals at the uh, Kansas City VA Medical yeah. Center. Their PTSD coordinator suggests avoid asking for sensitive details about a veteran's time in the military, like if or how many people someone has killed. Yeah. They suggest focus on listening instead of sharing your own stories. and. Be consistent. Let the veteran know you are there. Yeah. Check in on a regular basis. Be yourself. Words of affirmation. That listening part is hard because you want to like try and make them feel like you're connecting with them by talking. Just listen. And instead, just let them talk. We have a link on our website to this, the National Center for PTSD through the VA that has several resources for veterans, families, friends, from understanding PTSD to finding treatment options and care near you. This link is on our website. And we want to show you the Veterans Crisis Line. This is available 24-7 for veterans and their loved ones. 1-800-273-8255 and press 1. You can also just text 838-255. We'll be right back.